I'm just coming on to say a little something real quick. Because really we don't really need this episode. In fact, I've already recorded an episode yesterday. On Tuesday. That is going up on Sunday. Usual time. Now this one's a quick one. That'll go up in like as soon as I'm done recording. Because I've got less than 20 minutes anyways. But I thought, why don't I record this now? And it's still somewhat COVID related. I'm sorry guys. But COVID has been hitting the fans with everybody so like we can't really stop talking about it it's like brexit but it's a global pandemic <sighs> so yeah but anyways welcome to the show the swycast however you want to call it <laughs> people are sleeping so i wish you should shut up but i'm just coming on here to say something you all heard of captain certain more right the 100 year old ex veteran who I say ex veteran ex soldier who fought in World War Two and last year has raised 32 million pounds or over somewhere over that amount just doing 100 laps in his garden raising money for charity for the NHS. That was back in April. Now, he has just been tested positive for coronavirus around last week, and sadly, he just passed away at the ripe old age of 100. <sighs> now, you can also whatever you want about him, I'm not saying he's a bad person. I mean, he's a chief for, for our country and for the lives and sanctity of every human being from the iron fists of fascism and nazism but can I just say that my no, let me just give you a little quick story before I leave just so that it makes sense what I'm about to say so December, two months ago, we were watching the news. Well, me and a few of my family members, relatives, were watching the news. Uh, BBC News did a, was it 30 minutes or was it half, was it an hour? I think it was an hour long special about him, about the man himself, hosted by Michael Ball. It was good. But then when my cousin said something, and it definitely resonated with me. And it's that why are we choosing to remember this one now? Why don't why don't we think about all the other soldiers as well? Like they fought for our country. Why are we just thinking about him, not everybody else? Like every other soldier too. Why don't we think about them? If I have to be honest with you, at the time, I was partly shocked by her just because part of me felt like she was being ungrateful. Then a couple of seconds later, I sat back and thought to myself, wait, she's not really being ungrateful, actually. I don't think she was being ungrateful at all. She was just stating the truth. We always like to look for one person to represent everybody else. Like, nobody can represent themselves. And while that's great sometimes, like MLK and Malcolm X, for the civil rights movement, for example, even Rosa Parks to a certain extent, although don't really know her whole, her whole story. The point is, we we're all looking for, for figureheads, aren't we? I mean, the Queen's the chief, the figurehead of our country. Although ultimately, we we're run by the government. The government, which, as I say, have been leaving me questioning them every single day for their efforts, effed up efforts at that, in handling this pandemic. That's what I'm going to say on that because I want this to be pretty short. Captain Sirton Moore was a great guy. Great man. He definitely had the mentality of a soldier fighting for his country. Even against 
at, at the pandemic that really many target him. Many targets people like him. And also, thinking back in hindsight, it also sort of affects me too a lot more as well because the thing is, I was born two months premature. I was meant to be born in March, but I was born in January. So, obviously, I was in an incubator for the last two months, three months. before I was able to go home with my family to be in my first house and apparently from what my dad told me my my body just couldn't handle the illnesses and my brain was I don't remember what, what with my brain but my brain wasn't as developed and also my ears my ears literally the one part of my body that's been affected the most by my premature birth is my my ears. Basically, I have earwax build up, and that happens to everybody, but with mine, it's because I have this thing called keratosis obturans, where my ear canals are literally so small. They're so thin in distance or width that earwax, the, the more earwax comes up, it's just easier for it to get, to get blocked in my ears, and that's the you why I have to go to hospital every six months, although I can't do that now because of corona, but apparently my immune system isn't that strong enough, it's strong now, but probably not as strong as everybody else, but that's enough about me. Only talking about me because I mean, both me and him have something in common, and it's our shared clinical vulnerability to this deadly virus. But he did something with the last ten months of his life. He did something with the last ten months of his life, and he definitely displayed to us, showing his bravery. Even just walking around his house, around his garden. When I heard that he passed, literally, my, literally me and my cousin were talking, she mentioned it last night. I didn't believe her. I just told her that he got tested positive. That was it. She took it. This morning I woke up. I went, the first thing I see when I got on YouTube was that he died. And I was thinking to myself, um, then I watched then I watched the entire BBC breakfast segment of his achievements and honestly almost got me te- almost got me teary eyed at one point. He was just such a great man, a legend. He would definitely be remembered. And his efforts would not go to waste and you will never ever forget him anytime soon. You will remember him for as long as we're still in this pandemic and possibly many years more because he helped us when nobody else could or in a lot of cases would. He did. And for that, I wish him well. Rest in peace, Captain Sir Tom Moore. And my lesson starts in about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna go now, so see you guys some other time, well, I mean, I've got an episode coming up on Sunday, this one's going up now, anyways, talk to you later, bye.